Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Monday. Today we have, it looks like, at least six or seven mystery products to open up. Hopefully everyone's having a very pleasant evening. I'm on location tonight at Heather's house, so I don't have the little paper that I usually have that tells you to make sure you subscribe, like, and comment in the video so you can give yourself a shot at that 2022 Heritage case that we're giving away at the end of the month. So let's go ahead and get started. We have our very first box. This one says attention mystery box monday so if you have a mystery box out there and you want to send it to me to feature in a mystery box monday send it here make sure you put a byline there attention mystery box monday so it doesn't get mixed in with all my other stuff coming in like the ebay purchases and the cases i'm buying and all that stuff but p.o box 402 pleasant unity pa 15676 if you have something you'd like to check out all right so this first one is coming from james Harris. So James Harris, thank you for your submission. Let's see what we have leading things off. Looks like it is a, oh, maybe about a 500 count box here. And it is the flawed thinker box. Nice. I'm going to clear this off. Maybe this, uh, maybe this will get the, uh, the thumbnail. Who knows? You never know. I always usually with, um, the mystery box Mondays, I just pick a random box to a lot of times throw in there. So flawed thinker, is the name of this product. Let's check it out. I don't see a note in the packaging, so I'm guessing that there is hopefully a note inside that tells you a little bit about this mystery product, maybe what you can expect, how much it costs, and where to buy it at. All right, so here is the note, and the note says, Hey, Jabs, I've been a subscriber for a while now, and I've seen a few mystery boxes that you've opened that I thought were pretty good, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Each box here is $35 plus shipping. I made about 10 of these boxes at random, and if it goes well, I'm thinking I'll do a more of a high-end box. The big chase card is a 2019 Chrome Update Vlad rookie card in a PSA 9. The eBay item's right there if you'd like to grab one of these. It's 313-922-396-837. With only 10 made, they're not going to last too long if it's decent, so we'll check it out. Every single box is going to come with a graded card, an autograph card, a relic, a numbered card, and a pack of 11 cards, and there's also a bonus. And that uh, most will have some notable star players. Some packs will have multiple numbered cards as the autos and relics are not counted as a numbered card. It says not all the boxes will exceed the value paid for the item. And that, that usually happens whenever there's a chase card. So let's go ahead and see what we can find in the flawed thinker box, our first mystery box product. So I like the fact that there's a lot of packing peanuts in there. I feel like the packaging is pretty good. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to have to probably, let's pull the trash over here next to my assistant. Timmy's up helping. All right, so this is our 11-card pack. We've got Luis Robert on the front. Stalin Marte, Don Russell's a Barry Bonds, 91 tops card. Aaron Judge, 2019, Joey Votto, Zach Thompson, James Caprillion. There's an Aquino, Nick Turley, TJ Antone, Jake Cronenworth. Then we've got a gold card, say a... a uh, a Kwang Young Kim gold gold cup card. What else do we have in here? Timmy's uh, bumping into the thing there. He's trying to do some trash duty, so sorry about the little earthquake. We've got Jonathan India. This is a Bowman Platinum card right there. That's a nice one. We also have a big patch of Trish Barrera. Patch uh, out of 49 to go with it. Here's our autograph. It is a Yuri Perez rookie. And the... What? Look at that. A Ron Acuna Jr. BGS 8.5. That I was not expecting that. How about that? What a nice hit that one is. It, a, a One graded card comes in each one of these. And it says there will be no no-name companies, as in uh, it's going to be PSA, BGS, and SGC. And we have a Ron Acuna Jr. rookie card right here in a BGS 8.5. Very nice card right there. So, again, these boxes are only $35 a piece. If they're all around here, that would be pretty good. Now, he does say that not every card is going to match that value because some will have more, some will have less. And that's the way it goes whenever you have a Chaser product. So, Timmy, thank you very much. Timmy, it was so nice to go and get the trash all ready to go. Brand new trash bag in the trash can. All right, next, let's go ahead and see what else. Should we do the big box, Timmy? Yeah. All right, we're going to do the big box. This is a large box. Uh, I'm, I think I'm using this uh, Vlad Jr. as my 
address cover, or this is from Aaron Frazier. Giant box here. It says attention mystery box Monday. Giving back mystery packs. I'm guessing that's the name here. Giving back mystery packs. Let's go ahead and see what we've got in this one. Giving back. There's a note inside. As you can see right there. Put this Vladdy over there. All right, so it looks like we have uh, maybe a, a baseball, an autographed baseball possibly, and there's more. There's this called Giving Back Mystery Packs. I see, I think I see a Kyle Ripken Jr. 88 Fleer in there, and there's a, is this a jersey? This, uh, do you get all of this in one Giving Back pack? It looks like it might be a jersey or something. So I guess we'll see whose size this is, if it's a, uh, Large or XL, it's me. If it's medium, it's Heather's. If it's small, it's you. If it's youth, medium, it's you. Let's see what we've got. That's gonna be interesting. Who's gonna get this? I'm, I'm guessing, what do you think, Robbie? Feel that. You think it's a shirt or a jersey? jersey. You think it's a jersey, you give it a feel. Buttons. You feel buttons? Probably a jersey then. Timmy's giving it the jersey. field test and he also concurs that he thinks it's a jersey. What's up? Man, this is pretty cool, a baseball too. This is this looks like a uh, an what is that a double A Eastern League logo I think. Let's check this out and see what is in the giving back mystery pack. This is the first series that they've ever done. Here's the note. It says, "Hi Eric, I've been in the hobby for about the same time frame as you, and I've been enjoying your videos for years now. I want to try my hand at a mystery product that will give back to the hobby and a good cause. My mystery product is called Giving Back Mystery Packs, and will have a little bit of everything. I think you guys are right. Everyone will receive two autograph items, at least one of them being a jersey. You also receive baseball cards and top loaders from 1950s to today. I've spent a lot of time putting this together, making sure to the best of my ability that this was going to be amazing. I don't want to give too much away, but you will only receive good cards, and most, if not all, packs will include slabs, and be on the lookout for slabbed vintage Hall of Famers. I'm getting excited here. It says, there will be a flyer in every box with a few more details. I actually made 21 instead of 20, so I could send you a sample. I also wanted to know if you wanted to do a break of this. Otherwise, I'll just put it up on eBay. It says, I have a family member who has dementia, and seeing firsthand the devastation it can cause to a family made me want to do something to try to make a difference. If all these boxes sell out, $1,000 be donated to the Alzheimer's Association. 20 boxes at $200 with 50 of that going to charity. It says, thank you for everything you do. Aaron, there's his uh, eBay uh, handle right there. Uh, a A R O Frasse without the R one. And now that's that's a great cause. My grandma actually had Alzheimer's and uh it is pretty devastating. I'm um, just seeing the it's a you know, slow cognitive decline. But um it's it's uh it's a great cause here and uh Aaron, thank you very much for sending these our way. Let's go ahead and see what this says here it says the giving back mystery pack it says each pack is guaranteed to include an autographed baseball jersey and one autographed item in a mystery pack there's fifty dollars from each pack it's going to go to charity thousand dollars for charity it tells what's included we already talked a bit about this or saw this in the note uh, the chase uh chase jersey here is the big hurt which is frank thomas hall of famer so here's all the stuff one person will also receive a redemption for a shane bieber full size Rawlings black autographed baseball bat. That's pretty awesome stuff right there. So let's go ahead and check this out. And uh, I feel very, very honored to be the one person that was chosen for the preview video. He made 21 of these, 20 to sell, one to do a preview video. And we're going to check it out right here. So uh, Aaron, thank you very much for sending these our way. All right. So let's start out with the giving back mystery pack. And uh, man, this one feels like a slab. This so I feel like there might be slabs in here as well. This uh, this could be pretty awesome. Always like the good stuff uh, like this you guys put together. A lot of you guys are so creative with the different things. Who would have ever thought a mystery pack with a, a an autographed jersey in it? All right, so we have a thing here labeled or a little bag labeled hits. We've got older cards and we've got newer cards. What should we start with, Timmy? Uh, 
kids. I would have said the older cards. All right, let's see what we've got. We have in our hit bag, we've got Carlos Correa. We've got Derek Lee, Luis Aparicio, and Frank Duffy. Those are the hits. Some nice cards right there. That's some pretty nice stuff. Uh, Luis Aparicio, a Hall of Famer. Very nice one. And now let's check out the... Let's do the newer cards next. We've got some rookie cards in here. I see a Kyle Tucker at the forefront of this pack. It's his Bowman's Best. Got Joe Adele rookie card in there as well. Trevor Story rookie card. Bryce Harper Bowman Chrome from 2011. That's an, or 2012, technically. That's an awesome card. And Yadier Molina um, rainbow foil parallel as well in there. Next pack up, we have an older pack. Cal Ripken Jr. Chipper Jones rookie card. Frank Thomas rookie card. We've got Mike Stanton, John Carlos Stan, and a Gary Sheffield. So some nice names in there. Again, these are $200 a piece with uh, $50 of each box going to charity. I, I think I'm saving the jersey and baseball for last. I think this is going to be a slab. It feels like, uh, I don't know, this could be pretty interesting. feels like a little bit thicker than a slab, though. You think it's a booklet? Mm -hmm. All right. If you guess the player, I'll give you whether, whoever it is. Okay. I'll give you five seconds to choose. You too, Robbie. Who do you think it is? You want to play the game? Andy Van Slyke. Who do you think? Mm. 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 Juan Soto. Here it is. It is going to be a... Oh, there's two slabs here. There's two slabs Let's see what we've got. Let's see. Oh, boy. Well, I, this one is going to be a second baseman for the Cincinnati Reds. Would you like to change your answer? Oh, yes. Go yeah. ahead. You have five seconds. Uh, I don't know who's second baseman. Would you like to change your answer? It is going to be... Wow. Wow. Pete... Rose. Pete Rose, who's not a Hall of Famer, but is the all-time hit king, a Pete Rose right there autograph. Pete Rose, of course, you guys know about Pete Rose? He was the all-time hit yes. king. He was the manager of the Cincinnati Reds, and he got kicked out of baseball. You know why? No. For gambling. He was betting on the games. So he was the manager of the games, and he was betting on the games, and that's a big no-no. So um, he got discovered, and then they kicked him out of baseball for life, and he should be in the Hall of Fame. He's got the stats, but he has not been allowed in. The other card, it's going to be a slab Matt of... Matt Olson. Not Matt Olson. It's going to be a Matty Alou rookie card. This one, I think it's his rookie card. Yeah, 1961 star rookie. It's an SGC 70. So nice one right there. Very nice card, 1961. Matty Alou, the I guess brother of Felipe Alou, uncle of uh, Moise Alou. Now let's check out what we have here, autographs. This is a baseball. It looks like the Eastern League to me. I guess it's a, yeah, it's a minor league. Minor league ball. And it is going to... Where's the autograph on here? Let's play a game before we see what it is. And let's see if we can guess the auto. Why can't I open this? There's i uh, I'm trying to do it so I can't see the auto. There's tape on it. Is there a tape on it? Yeah. Okay, let me grab the box. Oh. Would you like to do the honors, Heather, and do this while I... Heather's going to get the ball open for me while I take a look at this. Okay. All right. We we'll get this ready to go while Heather's getting that baseball open up. No peeking at the, uh, it is taped. No peeking at the uh, name card there, Heather. Oh man. Matt Olson. You think it's Matt Olson? Yeah. That's a good guess. I mean, it looks like the athletics. Oh, it does look like the athletics. So we have the jersey here, we have the autograph here. Let's first check this out. Timmy thinks it's Matt Olson. Oh man. 33. Who do you think it is? Well, I think I said it was the switch pitcher. The switch pitcher? 
Venditti. It's a good good guess. I think it's going to be Jose Canseco, number 33. Look at that. Jose Canseco signed jersey. Now, Jose Canseco was in trouble, too. Um, he was a guy that did steroids and got himself in a little bit of trouble over that. Uh, mo most likely, or more, more in the court of um, public opinion, a lot of his uh, teammates didn't like him because he wrote a book about him and said, so-and-so did steroids and this guy did steroids. But uh, a lot of people contribute or, or attribute Jose Canseco with credit for kind of cleaning up the game, kind of as a whistleblower, so to speak. So a Jose Canseco jersey, that's pretty awesome right there. Heather, can you do me a favor and see what size this is? And all right, now I want to look at the autograph. Yeah. Guys, can... All right, Heather's going to show me... Can we show the camera, Heather? Heather's going to show the camera. Yeah, all right, here's the autograph. This is fun. This is a great mystery product. I'm going to guess... You guys have any guesses? Gary All right, Gary Sheffield. Robbie guesses Gary Sheffield. Who do you guess to me? Um, Look at it. Do you see any letters? That's probably large. Maybe. I am going to guess... Man, it looks like a C and a Y, maybe? Or a to U? Like I, a I think it's Chase Utley is what I want to say. But that's... Uh, why would that be on a minor league ball? Um... I don't know, I'm yeah, I, I don't know. I'll just say Chase Utley. Maybe I, I'm guessing think. somebody just snagged this ball at like spring training and just had Chase Utley sign. Let's see who it is. Any guesses, folks? No lying in the comments. Put it there. All right, let's take a look at it. The actual autograph. Heather, did you just, uh, Heather took it and put it aside. We have no idea who it is. Um, that's that's interesting. So a little bit of a uh, real mystery. Can you? Try to figure out what that is on your phone, Heather. If you go to JSA, um, their website there, and uh, type in that code and get that for us, because everybody is, I think the code's on the baseball. Everyone's probably like, all right, you can't leave us hanging. Who the heck is that? So we'll get we'll get that, and um, we'll get back to you guys in a minute. But the Jose Canseco jersey looks like, uh, I know what I'm wearing this tomorrow. Is. This looks pretty big. What do you think? Yeah, that's you, Eric. Yeah, I, that's, uh, that's probably Weird. That's like awesome. This. Yeah, that's that's definitely that's yours. my size. Yeah, that's yeah. Yours. Jose Canseco jersey. I'm wearing it to. Uh, that'd be funny to wear that to work tomorrow. I'd be like, why are you wearing that? <laughs> 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 All right, maybe on. Uh, usually, once a year we get to wear jerseys to school. If you don't know, I'm a high school teacher, and uh, usually that's during. Uh, like a spirit week where all the kids will get to wear like a jersey one day or they'll wear crazy socks another day. And uh, Heather has found it. You want to show it on the phone there? Uh, it is George, Batter. George Valera. So I don't know if he's had any big league experience. Thanks, Heather. But uh, the Jose can take a very cool, uh, very cool one. Oh, it's all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's. I would have made things a lot easier. It's literally on the friggin' cube right there. So we went through all that, all that rigmarole. But uh, there you have it, folks. Very nice mystery product. You can check them out. Aaron Fraser on eBay. Thank you very much for sending that our way. Very, very cool idea. I like it. That's really thinking outside of the box. Next up, this next one is coming from Sam. How do you think that's pronounced? Zy Sam. Zyder? Z Sam Zyder, yeah. I think Zyder, one T. All right, here we go. Thank you, Sam, for sending this our way. Go ahead and cut this open here. Here you go, trash man. All right, so inside we have a couple hits here, a couple little bags, base parallels and hits. Let's see what this note says first and foremost. We'll read through it. By the way, which one of you two wants a George Valera autograph baseball? Um, I'll take it. I think, I, what do you think? Did Robbie get it out first? Me. Robbie got it out first. Robbie, you get this. Congratulations, you won a George Valera baseball. You're welcome. All right, so here's our note. It says, hey, Jabs, I'm a huge fan of yours. I'm a kid and I watch all your videos. I have a YouTube channel called Saratoga Sports Cards that just hit 100 subscribers and I hope to have a big channel like all the big guys. I hope you enjoy the cards I'm giving you and I've started getting into the hobby about a year ago now. I show off my cards on my channel and I open boxes that I find in retail. I, I don't sell them 
all my cards, but I hope to do something on YouTube and the hobby. Thanks, Jabs. Hope you enjoy. So Saratoga Sports Cards, thank you very much. Let's check these out. All right, so in here we have some base parallel numbered cards. Let's see what we've got. We've got Bo Jackson, Kyle Tucker rookie cards, and I, oh, Fernando Tatis Jr. I think I know who's getting this one. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. There's Alec Bohm, Mike Soroka, and Cody Bellinger in there. And then we have the hits as well. So Saratoga, thanks for sending this over. I hope you guys will check them out. Thanks for putting together this little pack here. I got Nelson Cruz and Ryan Spikes numbered card. We've got an autograph here of Ed Watt, Troy Glaus. That is a game used jersey card. Pete Crow Armstrong jersey. Here's a Mets pick. Drew Baker. And look at this Fernando Tatis Jr. That is a nice relic. So there you go. Yay. And Rob, you can take your pick of uh, any of these card, two cards there that we've already opened up. Here's, I saw an Aaron Judge in there, and there's take any two of those. And um, next up, so thank you very much, Saratoga. I appreciate that. Timmy's happy with the Tatises that were in there. All right, so next, this is from Dan S. from Connecticut. I used to uh, go to Connecticut all the time. My uh, grandparents lived up there, and this next one is from there. Let's go ahead and open this up. Mookie Betts is going to be our cover guy. I'm trying to not slice my finger. All right, here we go. Let's see what we've got. Which one are you taking? Which, which ones are you taking, Robbie? Which ones are you taking? Oh, smart choice. He's taking the Acuna rookie card. <laughs> oh, that's that's a good choice right there. Let's see what we've got. There is, um, is there a note in there? I can't remember. Maybe it's inside. All right, so here it is. It's the Deuces Wild Mystery Box. Double deuce. It says each package will contain 22 rookies, four vintage, four star players, four hits, two serial numbered packs, and one and three will contain a BGS or PSA card. Do you know what BGS stands for? That's a tough one. Beckett Grading Service. That's the one that you just got. That Acuna there that's created by BGS. They're a good one. PSA and BGS are the best two in most people's opinions. All right, so let's check it out. Deuce is wild. I don't think we saw a note in there, did we? Oh, let me double check this package. Yeah, there is. There's a package in here. There's actually two packs, too. Nice. So Deuce is wild. Here I am just ripping into it here, getting all excited to see what's inside. Before we rip into this, we already got it opened up. Let's read the pack. The note says, I have sent you a couple of my mystery packs to you in the past, and I have had a great response from when you preview them. It says, now I'm sending you the third installment, Deuces Wild Series 3, Double Deuces. After the last series, I made a few more tweaks and have doubled what comes in each pack. Each one will have the following, which we already read off to you on the front of the pack. One and three will contain a, a PSA or BGS graded card. Some notable cards are a 69 tops Reggie Jackson rookie, a few one of ones and top rookie cards. And the price is $44 with free shipping. If you want to find them on eBay, just search Deuces Wild Mystery and you should be able to find them. There's the username, Martin F underscore 22. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one and see what we've got. We've got these team bags here. We've got, oh, that, that's nice. Is there, is that a pack? Is that two packs? Yeah. Two packs. You're right. That's some pretty good stuff there. Chrome update and um, man, this is that's pretty awesome. Let's see what we can have. These uh, this is a this is a hobby pack as well, which is pretty nice. And these cost fifty dollars a box for a blaster box of those. Let's go ahead and. Why can I never open There's certain team bags that just, because of the way they fold, I can never open them. Timmy, you want to do the honors on that one? Thank you very much. I'll do this one. There we go. When they have the large flaps, sometimes I struggle with them. I don't know why. And uh, Timmy, thank you very much for doing that for me. Let's see what we've got in here. Brandon Marsh rookie card. 
We've got Jake Cronenworth, rookie, as well. That's a nice-looking one. There's Ryan Mountcastle, Bobby Dalbeck. we got Julio Rodriguez. He just uh, officially made the club, so J-Rod's going to be up and in the big leagues and uh, looking for good things from him. There's Jonathan India, rookie card. Dylan Carlson, rookie card. And a lot of nice rookies in here for a $44 product. I like it. I like the rookies, as you know, and um, this uh, this might be a slab. We'll see. like the fact they give you a couple packs as well. You never know what you can find in a pack. Might be, uh, might just be some commons. Might be a, who knows, a, a $1,000 autograph. There's a nice Trey Mancini. That's the metallic sparkle. And Curtis Terry, Rodolfo Castro, Ian Anderson, Crusade card. Tyler Gilbert and Christian Pache is the last one there. A couple other cards in there. A couple of vintage cards I saw. We've got uh, Ken Griffey Sr. That's Ken Griffey Jr.'s dad. Mm -hmm. Alan Bannister. we got a Johnny Bench. 1973 Topps card with Dick Allen. That's a great card. Bob Watson. Michael Moore. Some of these are flipped upside down. Flip them around. There's Trevor Story Red. Tyler Saunders. From the, that one's out of 75, by the way, the red. We got Michael Morse. Ken Griffey Jr., that's a, I like that card a lot. And Mickey Mantle card, two of them. That's, uh, that's, that's card number seven from the 19, uh, what, what year is that? 1999 top set. And a Mike Trout in there as well. So we've got two packs left. Let's see what we've got. All right, so. In here, this is the hobby pack. Starling Marte, there's Jazz Chisholm. Oh, we've got something. It's a home run challenge card. Call your shot to win. That's a nice one. You know how that works, right? Yeah. You pick the game when he's going to hit a home run, and then if he does, you win uh, You win like a special prize, like free cards. Who wants this one? Me. He said it first that yeah. time. And we've got the Chrome update. Let's see what we've got. Oh, there's a purple in here. There's Brian Garcia, Ted Williams, and Ryan Weathers. So the purple is not numbered, but you know, nice, uh, it's worth a little try there. Now let's see what we have in here in the slab. Hopefully, something nice. Had some nice slabs today. We've got the, the Ron Racuna Jr. BGS 8.5. You think it's Chris Bryant? Yeah. It is a Chris Bryant. It's Chris Bryant first, 2014 PSA 9. That's a nice one right there, Chris Bryant. Now with the, what team's he on now? What? Chris Bryant, Timmy, what team's he on now? Um, I know he got traded. Not traded. Free, free, well, he was traded to the Giants, but he's not on the Giants anymore. Putting you on the spot. I'll, I'll give you a hint. Charlie Blackman plays for this team. Cover Falcons? Right. That's right. So I feel like it's only fitting that you win a pack of cards. Which one do you want to go with? Opening Day or Heritage? Um, Heritage. Heritage. All right, let's see, what you, let's see what you're getting. You get all the cards in this pack. Watch there be an autograph in here worth a bunch of money. Could happen. There's Colin Moran, Kyle Tucker. Matt Duffy, Bobby Bradley, and Lance Lynn. So best card, I would say, for me, I would say it's the Austin Meadows, but there's Chaz McCormick in there as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like we have to give Robbie a trivia question right now. Robbie, your question is, hmm, you chose, you'll get this pack. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to show you a player, and you have to tell me who it is. If you get it right, I'm just going to pick a random card here. I'm going to cover the name. Tell me who this is, and you'll get all the cards in this pack. Trivia Vladdy. question. Let's see if he's right. It That's is. Vladdy. All right. Robbie gets the opening day pack. So you got Patrick Wisdom Gold Cup card. Anthony Bender, Max Kepler. You got a parallel. A Nolan Arenado opening day parallel. You got Mrs. Met. Who is that? Yeah, Mrs. That's, Met. That's, that's a Met's mascot. mascot. Those are yours. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, that's a nice one. Juan Soto. Look at this. The Gold Cup card of Fernando Tatis. Do you have this one? Um, do you have this one? I don't, I don't think. Oh, you do? Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. Let's see what else we have. That's a good one. I like that Tatis Gold Cup card. Tatis, of course, as you know, is hurt. 
He's going to be hurt for, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking they're saying until June. Hurt his uh, wrist riding a motorcycle, which, as you know, those motorcycles can be pretty dangerous. Just ask Ron Gant. I think Ron Gant broke his leg on a motorcycle back in 1994. Missed an entire season. There's an Ozzy Abbey's rookie card in there. Nice. Robbie Ray, there's your Cy Young Award winner. Joey Bart, Tarek Skubal, Certain Apostle, and Dane Acker Refractor is the last one. Let's see what else we have in here. These cards just kind of... Juan Marichal, 72. I think these all slipped out of that team bag, huh? There's Raphael Devers. Let's flip these over and see what else. Jesse Winker, now he's on the Mariners. There's Jose Altuve, Game Used Jersey card. We have a Ryan Weathers, big old patch there out of 99. There's that Vladdy and Jason Dominguez as well. So pretty nice pack right there. Lots of good stuff for, I think, do we have another one of these? Or is this the second one? I can't remember. I'm getting all lost here. I think that was the second one. Yeah, that's the second one because we opened those two packs of Heritage. I'm just having so much fun opening these that uh, tell you losing track of all time and space. Jonathan India rookie card. Um, Annual De Los Santos. Next up we have the couple Chrome cards there. Kevin Chrome. Chrome. Chrome Chrome card. Ian Hat Metallic. And Jeff McNeil, Chrome, and David Calabrese is the last one. All right, so thank you very much. Deuces Wild. Check them out on eBay. Some nice stuff right there. That was fun. All right, we've got a few more left to go. This one, I, I pre-opened a couple of these. And uh, first was this one right here. It uh, was just a couple packs. And it said, uh, hey, Jabs, I want to I want you to try out my mystery pack. It has six rookies, one auto, and six base cards. Now, the name was scratched out, but the return address wasn't. So uh, I'm just guessing that this is from a kiddo. And uh, I always think it's really cool when kids make mystery packs because I used to make it when I was a kid. I used to call them grab bags, borrowing the, uh, the name from... My local store. So whoever this was that sent this in, I really appreciate that. There's Cedric Mullins, Key Brian Hayes, Jonathan India, and a Brent Rooker autograph. Very nice stuff right there. It is a blue Brent Rooker from Mosaic. Key Brian Hayes, Tyler Gilbert, Brandon Marsh. That's a pretty cool mystery pack right there for sure. Randy Rose Ray and Devin Williams. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Whoever you are, mystery man. And uh, thanks for watching the channel. I really appreciate that. Next, this one came in, and I think this one, did this one go to this one? Was this one from Tim? Now I've lost track of uh, whose was whose. I think this is from Tim S. But this one came in. It says, uh, so it just says, attention fan mail. We really don't do fan mail Fridays anymore. Um, just because I just literally have no time to you know, respond to notes. And a lot of times people would request cards in return. And I honestly, I, I, if someone said, hey, can you find me a whatever... I usually can't do that because it's just, just too time consuming. But this one says, I watch your YouTube videos all the time. Please take time to sign and return this to me. And it says, please keep the cards. You sent over a couple of Andy Van Slight cards, a little signature card. So, Timmy, you know where a, a Sharpie is? I'll get this taken care of right now. So, some Van Slight cards right there. Thank you very much. Looks like Robbie's on. He sent this little signature card that he asked me to sign. Thank you. I'll do, uh, do you think I should sign it like my regular name or should I sign it Jabs Family? Jabs family. I'll sign it Jabs family. So go with Jabs family. And uh, there you go. Uh, thank you very much. I'll drop this back. Hey, I got a job for you to do, Timmy, tomorrow. It's a, it's a very important job. I don't know if you've ever done this before. I need you to put this in the mailbox when you go up to school tomorrow. Do you have anything you can do this? You put this in the mailbox and you put the little flag up. That way the mailman has to take it. There's a uh, postage paid already. So Tim, that's ready to go. That's Timmy's job to do that tomorrow before he goes off to school. All right, so we've got, I think we've got two left to go. This one is from Evan. I'll just uh, cover the name or cover the address right there. Evan, thank you very much for sending this our way. And let's see what we've got. Uh, nice. What do you think's in here? Oh, Timmy thinks there might be a slab in here. Maybe. Did you already feel this one? No, I didn't. 
Oh, it's top loaded cards. I see uh, maybe a football card there. Let's check yeah. them out. I think that's from that Leaf Metal Draft. So here's some cards. There's a piece of paper in here without a note on it. And uh, is there a note in this package anywhere? Maybe uh, sometimes that happens that the note just uh, disappears and it looks like there actually is a note in here, but this is from Evan. It says, I hope all is well with you and your family. It says, my name is Evan, I'm 14 years old. I'm a big supporter. I appreciate all you do with your content making. I've sent you a few of my cards I think you might like. Since I just got into collecting, unfortunately I don't have too much. Also, I left a piece of paper the way you could sign it. And Olivia as well. Also, if there's any Yankee autos or relic cards, would you be able to send me? Of course, that's totally okay from Evan. Um, Evan, I can have Timmy sign the paper for you. I'll sign it for you as well. And uh, Timmy, I'm gonna put you in charge of this. You're gonna have to fill out an envelope for Evan and send this paper back to him. I think you can handle that. Good, write your autograph on there. Timmy's my official assistant today. So let's check these cards out. Thank you very much for sending these over to us. Corbin Burns, Christian Yelts. There's a couple autos in there as well. So uh, Josh Palmer, I feel like it's only fair that, and Robbie's gonna sign it as well. Uh, Robbie, you might have a, a possible future uh, Major League Baseball star catcher autograph right here. He's been working on this auto for a while now and uh, here, you guys can take these cards and draft them out. Like, you take one, he takes one. You take one, he takes one. Draft them out. So, Evan, thank you very much. I will uh, put Timmy in charge of that. Timmy, you're going to have to save this paper. Yeah. And uh, you're going to have to write this address on an envelope and uh, yeah. send that to him. So, thank you very much, Evan. I really appreciate that. We're pretty much out of stuff. We have one thing left to do. By the way, I see you just got a, a heart from Fuzzy. Fuzzy just liked my comment. Fuzzy, by the way, a big YouTuber with almost 400,000 subscribers. He's giving away a Julio Rodriguez autographed card. Uh, all you have to do is uh, go over and watch his most recent video about his reactions to the top 100. So shout out to him and uh, check his video out. Uh, all right, so here we go. This is our last one. This was a little note here. I don't know um, who it's from. I just looked inside and uh, it is from somewhere in New Jersey. So let's check this out. Looks like some of my old Fan Mail Friday videos must be being suggested after all these years. I don't think I've done that series for a few years now, but there's a note in here from Mac. It says, I'm 11 years old. I watch all your videos. I've gotten into baseball cards not too long ago, but I have more cards than I can count because my grandparents had so many. I just bought many newer cards. I even pulled a three out of 10 red. Welcome to show Vlad Jr. Auto. That's worth a lot of money from a blaster box. It says, now I want to talk about you. I just wanted to tell you that when I heard that you had cancer, I was devastated. When I heard that you were going to be okay, it made my day. What really impressed me was how you kept on making videos. I have no idea how in the world you're able to keep on uploading. I found a card, however, that I'd like very much for you to put in your PC. Um, for it uh, To me, this was a very good inspirational story that I will never stop watching. Mac, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, for those of you that might be new to the channel, when was that? 2018 it was. So it's been four years now. I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. I had my thyroid removed, which is a big gland right here in your throat. They cut that out, so I don't have a thyroid anymore. But uh, that did the trick, and uh, you know now I just have to take a pill every morning and have to wait about an hour to eat. So uh, luckily, I, you know, I, I found that lump there got it checked out right away and that's why you should always uh, you know go to your checkups and uh stay up to date on all that stuff and look at this we have daniel norris daniel norris very nice thank you very much for this daniel norris as you guys probably know also um suffered from the same kind of cancer he had thyroid cancer and uh he beat it as well so i always felt uh, you know extra little attachment to him so thank you very much for sending this over i really appreciate that mac very nice note and thank you everybody uh that submitted stuff for this episode of mystery box monday so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video we got timmy working a little overtime here with some uh, uh autograph fan mail requests i'm going to put you in charge of that and uh i hope you guys have a great rest of your monday make sure you check us out all this week we've got all these videos lined up we've got the Walmart, Walgreens, a baseball card show, Target. Um, we're opening 22 boxes of Inception for opening day on Thursday for the 2022 season. 
and probably also a face off Friday as well, Saturday showdown. So make sure you hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.